It has been 29 years since the Soviet army attacked against the Protestants holding meeting in Baku city. At night from the 19th to the 20th of January 1990, the soldiers of the Soviet army used military technique to suppress the protests. As a result, hundreds of residents were killed and injured. Seizing Baku of large contingents of Soviet army, special teams and internal army was accompanied with special cruelty and unprecedented. At the result of illegal deploying of the army, 131 persons were killed in Baku and Republic regions. 744 persons were injured, 841 persons were arrested illegally, 200 houses and flats, 80 cars as well as ambulances, state property and personal property have been destroyed at the result of the fire committed by scorching ballots by military officers. Bloody January events over the past 29 years have been lightened in the prestigious newspapers such as The Guardian, The Independent, Financial Times, Evening Standard, The Daily Telegraph, Komsomolskaya Pravda, published in these days. The newspaper of The Guardian published news with the heading Fighting for Baku Streets on January 20, 1990. It was said in the news in the front page of the newspaper that Soviet army has attacked against Azerbaijani nationalists. Soviet tanks have entered into rebellious Baku city by breaking the barricades this early morning. According to the representatives of national movement, they shot everyone who resisted. According to them, there were plenty of the wounded and dead. There were women, children and olds, as well as ambulance employees and police officers among those who lost their lives. The constitutions of the former USSR and former Azerbaijan SSR have been violated. The sovereign rights of the Republic of Azerbaijan were breached. This was the last accords of the Empire of Soviet Union, the giant empire in collapsing and settling down. As youth of Azerbaijan, we do not forget and make forgotten this tragedy committed against our nation. God bless all our matters.